Hey everyone, Trident G uh, bringing you another video on my terrible YouTube channel which has what how much again? I'm um, zero subscribers and practically zero views. It's amazing height. Uh, just playing some Assassin's Creed here. Yeah. Yeah, the underrated Assassin's Creed are all, all technically right now it's technically overrated since we say it's underrated so much that it became overrated in a in a generation. Yeah, the PS4 cycle. That's when people finally figured out that it was actually a good game. Good but not amazing, sadly. And I just heard you said Assassin's Creed Infinity won't be the only game Ubisoft will be making. Seems like we'll be making a separate Assassin's Creed, which will be like your typical mainline story game based thing, almost like Valhalla and Odyssey again. So it's practically going to be the same thing. That's a good sign, as long as we don't have to be forced to play a live service so Assassin's Creed game. Uh, Like a live service Assassin's Creed game. Now that's a bizarre theory. Considering that, well, um, games like let's see, the Avengers game, like that, that that's a terrible live service game. I don't recommend anybody play it. One hour with that game, you already give up. Garbage, straight up garbage. But if you are no. Avengers fan, then you enjoy it, so to say. There is some fans that have seen it. But, well, this is an Assassin's Creed video, not an Avengers video, but Assassin's Creed, uh, hmm. I wonder where the game, the other game, Sight of Infinity, will be in. Hmm. It's hard to say, maybe it'll be in Japan this time, but it's too late for that, because Tsushima already took over that district. It's funny how Ubisoft never listened to us, but. <laughs> But when another company does it and they win awards, get top ratings in a game that is practically similar to Assassin's Creed. That's sad. Hopefully one day Ubisoft will actually listen to their fans. And actually create the game that we want. Assassin's Creed. Not Odyssey Valhalla, which is... Odyssey Valhalla, not the Assassin's Creed, Odyssey and Valhalla. The Demigod Simulator and the Viking Simulator. Full Force. Wait, I'm in River Valley, why is it snowing? You know what it is. Let's see La Brasse du Seigneur. Probably a French outpost or something like that. Hmm, hidden deletes, or I'll just take sword and dagger. And it seems that the next Assassin's Creed won't be changing the RPG formulas also. It'll stick true to its new trend. Even though it's not even helping. But hey, if the thing broke in Ubisoft picture, don't fix it. So maybe this one will break and then it'll finally change its trend. And I can't wait for the next set of play. I wonder what games will be announced at the event. Technically this discussion video that I'm making will probably like be heard by nobody. But <laughs> that's kind of funny. But hey, I need to make videos, right? I kind of enjoyed it. Considering that like... I never really wanted to make YouTube videos, I just wanted to like post some videos because it seemed like like kind of like fun. Watching people start communities, discussions about the Assassin's Creed or The Witcher or um, GTA or something. Like I always wanted to have like something that we have like fans so that we can talk about games, stuff like that. Yeah. 
but I won't be making, be making no Fortnite for sure with that. Uh, Fortnite. Weird thing. Mm, took one knife. They certainly don't make armor like they used to, considering in Valhalla or Odyssey, when people can tank like how many axe shots within this game, one knife straight through the chest or something, then insta perma kill. Well, not really perma kill since like the guards all practically the same. Well, the French really is similar to. The British soldiers, like, they all look exactly the same. The only difference is the color of the clothes. Uh, Ubisoft. At least they kind of... Nah, nah. It, like, the trend still stays to this day in RPG. Assassin's Creed. Double assassination. What happened to that? So, Beautiful novelty. When just in case in uh, introducing Assassin's Creed um, 2 and Brotherhood, that's when I was like, whoa, this is gonna be something special. Because in Assassin's Creed, uh, in Assassin's Creed, <laughs> in Assassin's Creed um, 1 or the first one, or the OG Assassin's Creed, there was only single assassinations at the time. So when, like when we moved to two and part where you can do double assassinations, then it was, it was, it was, um, I don't know how to put it, like, almost like how in, in the sense of you could only use one pistol at a time, and then in Black Flag you could use two, and it was like, revolutionary type feeling. But, yeah, now we took a, a step backwards from those type of things that you could do. Even though there's hidden blades in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like they need to introduce like double assassin double assassination. Because you don't need a second You don't need a second hidden blade to perform a double assassination do you? No you don't. You could like Assassinate this one person with a hidden blade and then like stick a sword or axe in the other at the same time. Yeah, considering that you can like dual wield with the hidden blade, a sword, and the axe or mace or whatever that you have. That I liked, but they should have like delved in that more. Mm, maybe in the next installment, which I also wonder still oh, who is it gonna be in. I just hope it's a cool place with Farco, but wait. There's no point in having parkour potential considering that the parkour in the sense of Valhalla, Odyssey, Origins is all bland and boring. It's kind of cool that you can climb any way you want to, but the problem is you can't do it in style, which ruins the that the Assassin's Creed factor and making it less of an Assassin's Creed game, <laughs> ironically. Treasure. It's funny how little treasure gives you in this game. Unless like 200 pounds was a lot back in the day. Which technically should have been, but considering how much stuff we have to pay for, it's practically worthless in this game. But yeah, you don't have to complain since it's easy to be rich in this game. It's kind of funny how they're always happy to see me, but it's not like I've been gone for a long time. Sing a shanty, boys. I missed the naval combat of Black Flag in a row. Not three, three was garbage. They should have like refined that more and make it like a standalone thing. Like an option to add that out to the to the seasons like how you can add that into the frontiers and explore outside of Boston and New York, but eh, you already know Assassin's Creed. And the beta and pretty bold of the game was very very bad. Cut over there though. 
um, playing on the PS4, so I only set the video time to like 10 minutes because like having like 20 minute videos like take up a lot of the space, especially since I still have my 5 and gigabyte model from back whenever. Hopefully one day I'll be able to afford the PS5, even though its storage isn't that much different from the PS4 base, but hopefully they'll at least consoles with more space like maybe one point something terabytes so that it will actually have a terabyte of space to use for games and stuff but i'll be wrapping up now i hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about assassin's creed and now if we do more maybe talk in the comments of what else you'd want in the videos like talking about this that or more about me and stuff like that but anyways guys, catch you on the, um, the next live stream. Not live stream, <laughs> and on the next video I mean <laughs> live stream. Yeah. See. You.